gosh, this is so awkward. Hey guys, this is my first video um, talking and like explaining stuff because I've always had videos with just the background music. And for today, I'm gonna be doing this kind of makeup and I called it the brownie everyday makeup look. I don't even know if this is everyday makeup look, but I mean, it just looks brownie, so um, yeah, so I hope you guys like it, and I, I hope that you guys don't feel any negative vibes with the video because it's really my first time talking and explaining, so I'm not really used to it, and I just hope you guys like this video. I already did my eyebrows. I also primed my eyes with the paint pot soft ochre so for today i'm gonna go be using this 350 m palette by morphe because it just has like a lot of neutral colors and i mean as you guys can see i haven't even used a lot of it just because i don't really use i don't really put makeup like every day I just put it on when I'm gonna go make the video or I'm gonna go out which I only have two days off every week so and I don't usually go out too so I'm a boring person it doesn't have any names on them but as you guys can see this one's I think this one's tapered I don't know this one. I'm gonna go start on with this shade this one's a transition shade so this one is just so it makes your eyelids a little bit softer and all the eyeshadow will just blend on like perfectly and and mostly because everyone does it so I just do it I guess I'm gonna be using this this one to make the whole eyelid a little bit darker And then with my eyes, I always put over right on this. I don't know their names. Fuck me. I just put a little bit more on here. Okay, so you're basically just gonna do it on the other side as well. I'm just doing a circular motion. A smaller kind of tapered brush. I'm gonna go grab on this one. And then I'm gonna go be using this like darker one. And then as you guys can see, I'm just gonna put it on right at that edge. La 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 la. You always want to look ugly when you do this. You know, like make that face, the makeup face. How can you be a makeup artist without making that kind of face? You just continue blending it out. And until it's all blended nicely. I'm going to grab on my Tarte Shape Tape concealer and use this brush. And then I'm gonna just go put on like a little like this and then look up because okay so here's the trick guys when you have hooded eyes basically if you want to do um a crease a cut crease you always want to put right in the middle and then you look up wherever the line goes on top of it you're just gonna follow that one I'm gonna go on with the with the brush that I use with the dark one and I'm just gonna go spread this out inwardly so it the black spreads out this way. That's it. From Ota 
just today and I just want to try them. <laughs> it's the Smoky Storm. It's the Smoky Storm. Alright, now that my eyelashes are on, then they're on. <laughs> now we're done with my eyes, which took so long because I don't even know why. I'm gonna go on, start with my face, and then I'll be using this dramatically um, moisturizing lotion. And then I'm just gonna put it all over my face. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And it looks like a gel. And this one's really good. This, I'm gonna go use this, um, Infallible Pro Matte by L'Oreal. And I forgot if this dries fast, but it doesn't really matter any anymore because I already sprayed it all over my face. This um, Be A Small Face Flat, and it looks like this. And this one, I bought it from Amazon. You guys, this is like, it's so soft. Like, I'm not even kidding. I went to Morphe. I was about to buy their Y6 brush. But after I bought this, I was just like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna stick on with this one instead because I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's the same and it's a good dupe for that brush. I know I'm not professional, but girl, I'm not even kidding. It's soft. Okay. And then, oh my gosh. This foundation is so good. I even forgot how good it is. I haven't been using it. I'm using my Shape Tape Tarte Concealer in light medium. Fenty Beauty Blender. This one's really good, like it's so soft. I mean, I've always been using this to blend out my concealer because it's really good. It's soft. It's the same one as the Beauty Blender. I think this one's $16. So it's a little bit more cheaper than the Beauty Blender because the Beauty Blender is 20 bucks, isn't it? Yeah. So you kind of just want to buff it in. Contour my face with this Kat Von D contour palette. I'm gonna go use this one with this kind of brush. You want to make it seem like you don't have fats right there, but you know, you kind of just want to deceive people that you're skinny, that you're still skinny, <laughs> even when you gain like, what, 30 pounds again after trying to be fit. I've been using this cover FX and it's on suntan. Is that how you say it? Sun tan. And I use this um, buff brush. It says face round brush. And it's also from Be A Small. And just grab on that one and just spread it all over the contacts. I want, um, it went inside my mouth. This one, this color right here. I'm gonna be using this Morphe 
blender and I'm just gonna put on some right there and then put it Tartius Pro Glow to Go and I'll be using a brown one and then just contour my nose I'm gonna be using this kind of brush and just going with the brown shade the colors that I basically used for my eyeshadow and I'm just gonna go on and then put that under my eyes And I'm using this um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Which really I'll be using this one, the same ones as I used on my nose, and then I'm gonna go on and pop it in here. I'm gonna go use this one, this kind of brush. I'm gonna go dump it right on the same one. I mean, tell me if I ain't blinding you enough, right? Um, NYX Matte Velvet. And it's like this color. I don't know, I'm just gonna try it. I guess there you have it that's it so this is my brownie look